Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here and today I will be showing you just how easy it is to install compiler tools and be able to run your very first C or C++ program on Linux. Let's get started by opening up a terminal. Here in Ubuntu we can do that by going to activities and typing in terminal and opening one up. All Linux distributions have some type of a command line interface that you can use to do the same method. And the reason we'll be using a terminal today is because it's the quickest way to get compiler tools installed on your system. We'll use the distributions package manager in order to do that. Here in Ubuntu, it is apt or aptitude. I'll make sure to go ahead and put commands for other Linux distributions in the description below. So if you're using something else, make sure to go ahead and check that out. All right, in the package we want to install will be build essential. So we'll do sudo base apt base install space build hyphen essential. Now the package might be called something different on your Linux distribution. Again, look in that description below, but at least for all Debian and Ubuntu based distributions, it should be a similar name to this package and probably the same exact command. Go ahead and press enter and then type in your administrative password in order to install this package. It'll ask you if you want to continue because it's going to install a bunch of packages and libraries that are necessary for compiling C and C++ programs here inside of Linux. You can type Y or just press enter to continue. Make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. It'll take just a few moments to finish up downloading and installing the packages and libraries. All right, now that things have been installed, let's check if we have the compilation tools. I'll do that by typing in G++ and it says now fatal error, no input files. This is a great thing because that means you have the compiler tools for C++. We can also check for C as well if we just type in GCC. It says there are no input files as well for GCC. That's another good thing. That means you have the C compilation tools installed as well. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button for me. It really does help me out. And congratulations if you made it this far, because at this point you can start compiling your C and C++ programs. So in order to give you an example of that, I'll create my first program right now using my favorite text editor. You can use whatever text editor you want or a GUI based one if you'd like. I'll just use a nano for this one and create a file right here. I'm going to call it main and I'm going to put a .cpp for C++ extension behind it. If I press enter, that will open up a brand new file and I'll write out my very first hello world program right now to be compiled. I'll need a few lines here. I'll do hashtag include IO stream and then using a namespace STD followed by int main with some curly braces and I'll do C out hello world and put an end line here followed by a return of a zero. That should be enough to get us started here with our very first program just to check out that our compilation tools work properly and that we can run the program as well. In order to exit out, I'll do control X. Nano will ask me then if I want to save the modified buffer. Yes, I do. So I'll just press Y. And then following that, I'll press enter to overwrite the file that I have. Now with the screen cleared, I'm checking this folder with LS and I see that I have main.cpp here. In order to compile my very first C++ program, with my newly installed tools, I can do G++, then type in my CPP file, so it's called main.cpp, and then I want to type in space dash O, which means output it and will output it to something called main instead of main.cpp. I'll press enter, and as long as you don't get any errors or any messages, you have successfully compiled your first program, and in order to run it, I will type dot forward slash and then main and press enter. Hello world, you've successfully installed your compilation tools, created a very basic program and ran the program all in a matter of minutes on Linux. And you can see how fast and powerful things are here with the package manager built in, which helps you get running in no time at all. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. 
Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.